Hi friends! I'm super excited to share today's video with you. We are going to be creating a farmhouse bicycle wreath and this video is the start of a new series on my channel called $10 Tuesday. I will feature DIYs that can be created for $10 or under. I'll include the supply list so that you can recreate these DIYs if you so choose. I would love to see your finished project, so tag me on Instagram or email me so I can share them. Let me know down in the comments something you would like to see recreated for $10 or under in this series. And let's jump in to the video. So we're going to start out using this buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to measure about 12 inches. I should have marked it on my mat because later in the video you're going to see I mark it with one of my clips. But I went ahead and measured out 12 inches and I'm going to create three loops that are 12 inches in length which end up being about 11 inches when you put them together as a bow. So this is a new bow technique that I'm trying out today and I actually really loved it. I'm definitely going to go ahead and try to continue to use this. I start out using a pipe cleaner to hold them together but then I felt like that was a little not sturdy enough and so later I show you that I went ahead and used a zip, a zip tie. So definitely when you start to make this bow just go ahead skip the pipe cleaner and go with the zip tie. So I make four loops for this first part of the bow, measuring out again, like I said, at 12 inches. And then I go ahead and make a tail on both sides that is also 12 inches. Then I'm going to use my clip to hold it together and clip off the end of the tail. And then I'm ready to make the next section of my bow. So for the next section of my bow, I'm going to do this very same thing, only now I'm going to measure it out at 11 inches. That's going to give us 10 inch loop sections and we're going to get about three or four of these in this section. And then once we're done with that, we will cut off another 11 inch section where we will make that the tail. Once I had each section completed, I took a zip tie and zip tied it together to hold the section in place. When I was kind of experimenting with this bow technique, I started out with a pipe cleaner, but I felt like the pipe cleaner did not give it a secure hold. And as I was kind of playing around with it, a couple of my loops popped out, which is what kind of um, led me towards the zip ties instead, because you get such a better permanent hold with the zip tie. Then you're going to do another section here. These are going to be 10 inch strips, which are going to give us nine inch loops. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I made four bundles on this one instead of three. And then I'm going to secure them in place with a pipe, or not a pipe cleaner, a zip tie, sorry. Then I'm going to measure this one out at a nine inch um, strip and then it's going to give us an eight inch loop and I'm going to get three loops out of this one and then another tail and tie it off with another zip tie. So altogether I've used four zip ties here to create the bundles. Now we're ready to put the bow all together. So I took all four of the bundles and I laid them on top of each other and I took another zip tie and I zip tied all four of the bundles together. So you can do this any way that you would like. You can use a pipe cleaner here. I just felt like the zip tie gave it more of a secure hold. I think this bow is absolutely beautiful. We are making a bicycle wreath today. So our bow is sitting to the side. However, this bow would work just fine for a deco mesh wreath or a grapevine wreath because it's so full and you can add as many loops or as little as the loops as you want. You could have even kept going with the strips and made more of them into this bow. So I mean the sky is the limit really for how full you want this bow to be but I thought this was the perfect amount. Four sets, one at 12, one at 11, one at 10, and one at 9. So now that we have the bow all secured together, I took a section of pool noodle that I had on hand. This was six inches long and I'm just, I cut it down the side and I'm attaching it to the bicycle wreath. This is just to help me with the florals that I'm going to put into the wreath so that they have something to hold onto. I'm going to glue the pool noodle back together so that it is secure onto the bicycle wreath. Once I have that glued on to the wreath, then I'm going to take my bow and I'm going to secure that into the middle of my pull noodle. That's just to give me kind of the center of what I'm working with here. 
so I took another zip tie and I zip tied the bow into the middle of our pool noodle. Super simple and it doesn't take a lot of steps. I get a lot of questions or comments on my videos saying, I've never tried a wreath. Oh, I wish I knew how to do a wreath. And if you were ever going to start somewhere with a wreath, this is the perfect place to start. There are no um, extra steps here. There's not a lot of things to do in this wreath. And so this is the perfect place to start for your wreath. So we're going to lay our bow onto the middle of the pool noodle and I'm going to take my zip tie and just lay it underneath the pool noodle and then through the bicycle wreath and I'm going to attach it onto the pool noodle part. That makes it really secure onto the wreath and the pool noodle so when we start to add our florals then we have a section underneath the bow and a section above the bow that we can add some florals to. Then again we're going to dovetail the ends of our ribbons to give it a more high-end look and to make our projects look more store button rather than homemade. So I picked up two bundles of the lavender from Walmart. That is one of my most favorite things to decorate in the spring and summer. Um, so I'm just going to attach one bundle down in the bottom of the wreath and a bundle up in the top of the wreath. I did go ahead and cut them apart to attach them better into the pool noodle part. Um, that way I have more control. But if you want, you could even just attach the entire piece of your florals in there, depending on how long the bottom is. I felt like the lavender was too long to just kind of stick it in there. So that is another reason why I cut it apart. But I like cutting it apart because then I have more control over where to stick them and to fluff them out. But if you're afraid of doing that, afraid of cutting them too short, you can always start with just putting the whole bundle in there and fanning them out. So we're ready to use the flowers I picked up at the Dollar Tree. There's only one bundle here and there are five flowers on this bundle. I like to do odd numbers in my project so that works for me. If you feel like that's not enough, you can always pick up another bundle. But again, we were going for about $10 for this project and so that only allowed me to pick up one of the bundles. But I put three of the flowers down on the bottom, two flowers on the top, and I just stuck these right into the pool noodle. So there is no gluing here if you feel like the flowers aren't in there attached really well you could always put some glue like on the outside of where your uh, flower stem meets the pool noodle just to give it a little bit more stability but there's not a lot of gluing entailed in this project if at all i just put a little bit on some of the lavender that didn't seem to be sticking into the pool noodle very well but hardly any did i have to put in there so once you're done, you're going to fluff out your bow a couple more times, and then that is it for this super simple but elegant bicycle wreath. I think this is adorable. I think this is the perfect place to start for wreaths if this is your first one. And if not, it definitely adds such a fun, romantic uh, touch to spring and Valentine's Day as we transition into, yay, some warmer weather. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed this $10 Tuesday. I'm super excited about it. I hope that you guys are too. Don't forget to go down to the comments and leave me a comment on what you would like to see recreated or duped or something like that for a $10 price tag. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video.